Early in the morning, South Korea began the final move to secure some protection from the possibility of a North Korean attack. It moved the remaining U.S. rocket launchers and other equipment into place, completing a process that was started in April. The convoy was again met by protesters. They worry the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, or THAAD, system may affect their health and the environment. The deployment will also strain ties with China at a time when the U.S. is trying to get Chinese support for new U.N. sanctions against Pyongyang. The Chinese government believes the U.S. may use the THAAD system to spy on China. China is seriously concerned about the development. I would like to reiterate that China's resolute opposition to the deployment of the THAAD system by the United States in South Korea is clear, consistent and firm. What hasn't been clear or consistent is how South Korea's President Moon Jae-in feels about THAAD. Before and after winning May's election, he flip-flopped on the issue amid a policy of trying to improve relations with North Korea through engagement. The South Korean government says the deployment of THAAD is provisional at the moment while more impact assessments are carried out. But it says the threat level is high enough to rush it through. Its defence ministry believes North Korea is planning to launch another intercontinental ballistic missile at any moment. The governments of China and Russia believe dialogue is the best way to de-escalate the tension on the Korean peninsula. Russian President Vladimir Putin held talks with South Korea's leader and said he believes the situation can be resolved peacefully. Like my Korean counterpart, I'm confident there won't be a large-scale conflict because all the parties opposing each other have enough common sense and have a responsibility to the people living in the region. They will be able to resolve this problem with diplomatic means. The United States and its allies need the support of China and Russia at the United Nations Security Council if tougher sanctions are to be placed on North Korea. The Chinese government's consistently staunch opposition to THAAD may put the U.S. effort further in doubt. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Seoul.